Hi guys. So in this video, I'll be basically discussing with you what programming language you should actually choose. Okay, so a lot of my friends and juniors in college keep asking me what programming language should I actually learn to get job, to get internships, right? So the very first suggestion that I actually give to them is find your interest. Now, what do I mean by interest? So by interest, I basically mean you know find uh, the field which you are actually interested in. So in computer science also. There are a lot of fields uh, like web development, mobile app development, machine learning, game development, software engineering. So there are a lot of fields. So first of all, you need to select your interest. You need to find your interest. Okay. Now once you are done with interest, now the act, the process of actually choosing the programming language that you should learn that becomes very easy because it gets narrowed down. So for example, now I'll be you know talking about. the languages you can start with uh, with respect to the various fields so if you are interested in web development you can actually start with html css and javascript and similarly if you are into mobile app development so again you have to choose whether you want to you know uh, start with android or maybe ios apps so you will have to decide about that also okay now if you want to start with android apps so you will have to learn kotlin and if you want to start with um, ios you will have to uh, start with swift language there is another language which is actually getting very famous which is flutter so using flutter you can actually make a cross platform uh, app which actually runs on web uh, android and ios as well now moving on to augmented reality and virtual reality then again unity c sharp that uh, you might have to learn okay and now coming on to the very hot topics of nowadays which is data science and machine learning so for data science and machine learning you will actually have to be very clear with python basics that's the very first thing secondly actually these fields have a lot use of maths and stats so be aware of that as well and in maths you will basically need to have decent knowledge of uh, linear algebra and calculus and you'll also need some uh, basic knowledge of statistics so if you are if you are good with all these stuff then you are good to go and learn machine learning or data science you know proceed with that stuff now if you are still not clear with the field of interest right if you are you know still confused what should i actually do then what what can you do is hit the subscribe button guys that you can actually simply start with any programming language like c++ python java and actually start learning about data structures and maybe try out competitive programming now what is competitive programming basically so there are various platforms for it like hacker and code chef etc and on those platforms you can actually you know practice and take part in various uh, competitions which actually have programming questions but they are the questions which actually require you know a lot of logical reasoning uh, some part of data structures basic maths and you know a lot of analytical skills are basically required in those type of questions so that's another field which you can actually explore and you know uh, recruitment of a lot of big companies or you know top startups you actually need to be strong with data structures and most of the competitive coders actually are strong with it and that gives you an edge but again data structures uh, is not the only thing that you should be knowing like if you are very strong with data structures but you are not you know you don't have any development projects like any website or maybe app development or anything like that in the development side then also it's not a very good thing so you should actually try to maintain a balance between them you should have at least two three uh, projects of your own and maybe one or two internships if you can try for that as well so you know just narrow down your interest then you can easily select your programming languages and once that is done you can you know start proceeding with the learning process and the best platform to actually start with the learning process is youtube in my opinion because the stuff is free here and you know actually you can get really quality stuff on youtube 
and actually I had written a blog on the very same topic and you can check the description for the blog link and it actually has the YouTube links of some of the languages that I mentioned uh, you know uh, in this video only so you can read the blog also and if I miss some point that must be covered in the blog and the you know uh, the programming language resources which are for free are covered in that particular blog so you can check that blog and I hope you like this video and if you you know want to keep uh, getting yourself updated with the actual important stuff and not you know just want to learn coding then you can actually subscribe my channel and if you like this video um, please like comment and share thanks guys